used in the game for both good and for ill, the cannon is one of the coolest things about sailing the ships in the Sea of Thieves. And after having shot a cannon a bajillion times at undead skeletons, I realized that I wanted to make one of my own. Now originally I was going to make a cannon that looked pretty but, you know, wasn't actually functional. But during breakfast adventures with my son, I got an idea to make a cannon that shot cereal. My son really likes a cereal called Panda Puffs and the cereal itself just looks like little cannonballs. And I figured, why not make a cannon that can shoot cereal for us? So I went and got some hardwood at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> yeah, I know. Who knew Hobby Lobby sold hardwoods? But I came across them one day and so I picked up some cherry, some walnut, and some oak. I started by squaring off a block of the walnut and then I cut the edges down to make it a little more circular to be easier to start turning on the lathe. I cut my oak into thicker pieces for the base and I cut the cherry pieces into strips. With all the pieces that I needed for this build cut out, I borrowed a neighbor's lathe so that I could start turning the cannon. I have to be completely honest, I am really nervous about using these things. A table saw scare me and lathes scare me because they spin so fast and so much can go wrong so quickly. It makes me nervous. That and I've never done this before so I don't know, we're gonna see how it goes. I used the guides that I drew and centered the walnut on the lathe and then I uh, watched some YouTube videos on how to use a lathe. Did I happen to mention how nervous I was about doing this? I set my picture up for reference and I slowly started to turn the cannon. Looking back on it now, I probably could have done this part a little bit faster. I probably could have applied more force when rounding the wallet out because this part ended up taking forever. After it was round, I took out my ruler and I started to mark out the distances for my cuts on the cannon. I then started to shape out each of the sections. After that was done, I sanded down the cannon and added some beeswax. Now this part is very satisfying. Just to see the beeswax bring out the richness of the color and the grain of the wood, it looks amazing. After I took it off the lathe, I realized it didn't look quite right. So I did notice something. This is supposed to be to scale to that because I based the dimensions on that printout based on the dimensions of this piece of wood. I messed up. Can you see it? It's right there. It's right there. That's gonna change things a little bit. So yeah, I got the dimensions wrong. But moving on. I took my cannon to the hardware store to pick up a 5 inch bolt that I figured was the right size for the cereal, some quarter 20 wood mount screws, and a spring. So the idea for this is to drill two different sized holes through the cannon, a larger one on top and a smaller one on bottom that will allow this bolt to go through but will stop it down near the bottom. Then find a way to secure this spring near the base and feed the bolt through the spring. Then I'll put this quarter 20 wood screw into the back of the cannon and screw a bolt into it. The idea then being that you pull back on this, causes tension in the spring, you let go, shoots the cereal through the front. That's the idea anyway. 
I found a bit that closely matched the size of the bolt and set up the drill press to drill a hole through the cannon. And pause. Do you see it? Do you see what I'm doing wrong? So I went back and I clamped the cannon down like a smart person would have done in the first place. And I drilled the hole into the cannon. I then flipped it over and drilled a smaller hole through the back just big enough for the threaded part of the bolt. I checked to make sure that the bolt fit right into the cannon part and it did. I cut the end off the cannon and then took a small piece of the walnut and turned an end cap for the cannon. I drilled a hole and then I fit the quarter 20 wood mount screws into the cap. I cut one of the ends of the spring off and then I cut a slot into the bolt to catch the looped end of the spring. Putting it all together, I tried it out and it worked like I thought it would. Yay! I then went to super glue the spring into the cannon and got it stuck in the wrong position. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What? <laughs> it's stuck. Yay. It looked weird with the cap not being flush against the back of the cannon. And so I pulled the spring out, bought a new one and tried again. I then started working on the base. I cut out all of the oak pieces for the side of the base and the cherry pieces for the bottom. To give it the cut and worn look like it has in the game, I took my knife and etched out the edges to make the pieces of the wood look aged, and then I started gluing the base together. I cut two pieces of a dowel, and I glued some wood caps on one side, and then drilled a hole into each side of the cannon, and then glued the dowel pieces into the holes. I cut another piece of the dowel to fit on the base for the wheels, and then cut two wheels out of some of the scrap of the oak. I drilled holes into the dowel, and then got some help hammering the wheels into the dowel. I took my Dremel to distress the pieces further, and then started adding pieces of the cherry for the decorative metal pieces of the base. After it was all glued and carved and etched, I rubbed the whole thing down with food safe mineral oil, and with that, it was done. We have had a lot of fun with this project so far and I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so that you can see all the future projects that I have coming out.